Good evening, lads and lassies. Now, you may be watching this directly after the Beardsman go live, and you might be thinking to yourself, how do you do that so quick? Well, I'm recording this prior to the Beardsman going ahead. This is a very, very rough video. I'm gonna straighten my damn hat. This is a very, very rough, quick video. Um, I haven't done one in a couple of days, so I'm being, I've been really tired, man. I don't know what it is, but I've been super tired. The weather here has been a bit crazy, so uh, it could be something to do with that. Anyway... Let's talk about this. Uh, these two Harvard guys um, and what's gone on there. Now, this video isn't an in-depth rundown of what's happened. Um, that will come uh, probably tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how it goes. And just gathering some information and things like that. So, uh, the the information's a little bit weak right now. I'm, I'm getting fed bits and pieces at the moment. And it's going to get stronger as the days go on. And I cannot wait to see... What other creators have to say about this whole situation? I'm just going to give my hot take. So anyway, uh, these two Harvard guys, Harvard guys, contacted Nathan Thompson and said, you know, like that we have this thing. We're going to prove that the Earth is not flat. So he's like, oh, bro. So they fly him out there or something. Again, I'm not sure the full story. So just don't quote me on anything. They fly him out there, give him a hotel room film this whole thing and they troll the shit out of him he falls for it hook line and sinker they turn up in fucking ridiculous outfits and say that it's protective against the electromagnet whatever it was really well done so i watched a little bit of this unfold i actually didn't know anything about it until uh this guy called michael davis contacted me and he was like do you know what's going on i was like fucking tell me all about it my friend and then some other people started telling me about it and sorry dog stop walking up and down outside my damn door i can't bring her in because if i bring her in she'll make noise in here anyway so i'm getting fed all this different information and I started watching a few of the videos and he's like, Harvard Globeheads proved that the Earth is flat. Oh my God, man. They said that they sent a, I think it was like an electromagnetic pulse or something to Kazakhstan. And this dude fucking believed it. He bought it all up. My God. Anyway, so uh, I was like, something's fishy here. Like it, something's not right here, you know, because obviously we all know the Earth is not flat. That, that That's a given. So it's like, there's obviously an issue with any evidence that would suggest it is. Now, if there was genuine evidence, like, you know, a photograph, for example, that could prove that the Earth was flat, then I'd be like, okay, let's look into this. Let's get this figured out. So I'm thinking something, something done that up here. And then somebody sent me a screenshot of the guy who was uh, setting this whole thing up. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. He's a comedian and he's done a load of these things before where he, um, he goes undercover in cults and pretends he wants to become one of them and all this kind of crazy shit so this is just an extra cult anyway they pranked the shit out of him and here's where it kind of started to go pear-shaped basically the whole flat earth community has now turned on nathan thompson because he's making a dick of himself i know what you're thinking that's a given but he's making even more of a dick of himself and um uh, Mrs. Demon's making a ton of noise, so I'm sorry if that comes out on the uh, on the microphone. Anyway, uh, so the whole Flat Earth community is turned on this guy at this stage. I've seen like two or three videos now from Flat Earthers that are like, how does he not see that this is clearly a prank? You fucking idiot. Wait, where's my dinger? That might just take a minute. Anyway, um, and I agree. How could you not see this is clearly... And, and you know, the weird thing is there's so much coercion involved in this video and in these videos where he's like talking to these guys. It's just so freaky, man. It's so freaky. But I also got the impression, and I'm, I must say, I got the impression that Nathan was actually surprised by the fact that something proved that the earth was flat. Because he knows the earth isn't flat. He's just an apologist. But anyway, that's besides the point. This guy says that because of Flat Earth, he got back with his girlfriend who was a Flat Earther and he wasn't. And that's why they broke up. And um, yeah, he basically forced the guy to marry this chick. Oh, it's just, man, it gets more and more cultish every single day. It's it's bizarre. It really is bizarre. So I'm looking at videos at the moment. Um, so he put up a video earlier and I wasn't quick enough to download it, but I'm sure somebody has. He brought up a video earlier called, called I Got Punked and I'm a Flat Earth Idiot. 
the most truthful thing Nathan Thompson has ever said, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, um, I'm working on it. Hopefully, I'll have somebody that's got it. Doesn't really matter because we all know he's a flat earther. Idiot. Anyway, that's besides the point. That's not to say that all flat earthers are necessarily idiots. Like I, I actually know a couple of flat earthers that I genuinely like and get on with. We just disagree about the shape of the earth. Um, we disagree about a fact. The fact is that the earth is not flat. But, you know, we don't give each other shit all the time or whatever. I've got two or three subscribers who are genuine flat earthers. And they just tune in because they like the content. And we get on. We get on really, really well. Um, so, yeah, anyway, all that aside, it's going to be a juicy couple of days. I'm calling it right now. I'm calling it right now that he is going to say that he knew it was a prank all along. And that he just wasted those guys' time to prove that the Globies are willing to do whatever they can. Yada, yada, yada. We all know that's going to happen. Damn, man. This, this, this is like... I wish they had played it a bit more seriously. They even got like fake fucking... Um, what, what are they called? Guinness World Record guys to come out. But the Flat Earth community has turned on Nathan, man, big time. They're like, you got called out hard. Apparently, he went on like a shouting rampage on uh, Discord last night and all of that kind of stuff. And then he got pissed drunk and put up a video basically nearly crying because he knows he's made a fool of himself. Um, so, yeah, Jaren's turned on him. That weird Australian chick has turned on him, making videos about him. Discord posts. Twitter, Instagram, the whole lot, man. There's very few people on his side. Um, understandably, because he made an absolute twat of himself. But again, I, as much as I thought that the prank itself was funny, and they obviously put in a ton of work into it, I would have preferred if they had played it really, really seriously and not done the stupid suits and stuff. Because that was a dead giveaway. A lot of Flat Earthers were like, what's with the suits? The They wore like, I don't like, it was like a bunny rabbit suit or some stupid fucking suit. And, yeah, there was a lot of backtracking that had to happen to cover all that up. But, anyway, you know, it doesn't really matter. So, guys, we're going to have the Beardsman tonight. I just actually figured out the time because it's daylight savings. I'm going to post this maybe before the Beardsman. So, you might be seeing this just before the Beardsman. And what I said earlier will make no sense. Something like that. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to cover this more. We'll probably talk about it on the Beardsman, too. Um before you go please do hit that like button if you haven't done so already make sure you subscribe because it makes a huge difference and definitely hit that notification bell because uh, unfortunately youtube doesn't work the way it used to be where you see mostly content that you're subscribed to but yeah it is what it is if you want to help out the channel in any other way i am really trying to make this channel something good i'm really trying to trying to build it up and make a proper channel out of this so if you'd like to support the channel financially, you can become a uh, channel member. There will be certain uh, channel member perks. I'm going to be sending out some Christmas cards this year. Um, and also uh, to my Patreons. I've actually got a fair few Patreons now. And it, I got to say, the extra, you know, 100 bucks or whatever it is a month goes a long way. Even if it's just a get me coffees to keep me going on these videos but no it does it really goes a long way and what it also does is it proves to me that it's actually worth pursuing um i love doing this i love making videos i love interacting with you guys it is without a doubt the most enjoyable thing i've ever done um in terms of work or in terms of being creative um you know i acted for years i did a lot of stage acting a um, little bit of film acting did a few bits. Uh, so performance is in my blood. It's something that I love to do. Um, did some stand-up comedy, which again, you know, I love to do, but it's exhausting and it's a lot of work. And so is this at times, um, you know, like I've had to mute all the flat earth pages on my, my uh, social media because every time I open it, there's these stupid flat earth memes. And it actually gets to the point where you don't even laugh at it anymore. I'm actually sad for some of these people for going through life being so fucking stupid. But anyway, lads and lassies, thank you so much for dropping by and listening to uh, to my little mini rant here. I will be doing some proper videos about this tomorrow. I'm going to be chatting with some other uh, creators first, um, just so that we're all kind of on the same page. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a bundle of chuckles. Anyway, lads and lassies, go me the market and slancha. Ah, I didn't press the uh, old stop button there. I know that. Coke's here has gone down the wrong hole. Ooh.